Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today uh, we are going to do your love reading. Please remember this is a general reading. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can get more messages and guidance if you'd like to check out your other signs. There is a playlist link below. Also, I do do a monthly giveaway. Details are below to enter. Uh, personal readings. Uh, you can check out uh, the information on my website, but please email me before booking. I am about a week um, out right now, close to a week, uh, but I will try to fit you in. And then lastly, my new channel called Heal to Love 333. It's a uh, meditation, <clears throat> excuse me, meditation, uh, healing, and manifestation channel. I've put some popular links below for opening up the chakras, okay, uh, also clearing blockages, I incorporate Reiki energy so that it can help you to manifest love and abundance in your life. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. Uh, I know, always allergies and asthma going on here, so, <coughs> but I'm going to be positive, okay, it's been getting better. So let's start your reading, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius and love? What's coming in for Aquarius? Okay, so two of pentacles. You have the seven of swords, the magician. You have the moon card. You have the Page of Swords. What's going on, Aquarius? I feel like you've been dealing with this type of energy for quite some time. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles and bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Wands. All right. So calling out the signs we have on the board so far, we have Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we have your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, strong Pisces, strong Cancer. Okay, so those are all the energies. So I'm going to read past, present, future, and uh, then we will clarify. So the moon card and the two of pentacles. All right, so I feel like um, Aquarius, you've been dealing with a back and forth situation all right or maybe you've just had on and off relationships in general but i do feel with this knight of wands you haven't been dealing with anything that's been real consistent okay now this can be one particular person that you've been dealing with somebody i feel here who could be a bit secretive um they're not giving you any clarity or you know giving you any showing anything of any sort of stability and you're, you know, in the relationship or the connection. It feels like this person is somebody who is very secretive, somebody who's very aloof. I do feel this could be somebody, you know, who may have even betrayed, uh, betrayed you in the past, um, or, you know, is just hiding something here, okay? I feel, too, um, there is a reason to be skeptical of this person. Uh, if you are not already skeptical of this person, okay? Uh, in your near future position, though, you have the Magician and you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of change here. I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning for yourself. I feel um, this is also about you making things happen. Uh, as the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like maybe you're really focused you're, or, you know, you may currently be already, but I feel in the near future, you're just really going to be really focused on your finances, your money, your career, um, or just getting to a place where you can feel more stable, feel more grounded, because so far this energy, okay, I feel like this is a situation that's on and off and consistent or something like that. So let's uh, clarify the cards, see what else comes out. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the two of pentacles and the moon card here, please? Why is the uh, two of pentacles 
uh, and the moon card here, please. Okay, you have the Queen of Wands, the Fool card, and you have the King of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck here, yeah, you have the Five of Swords. So definitely showing some sort of conflict. This is Five of Swords is always my five, my third party card. So you could be you could have been dealing with someone, or you may still be dealing with someone who is involved with other people. All right, uh, you know it can be anything else. You know, it can be family, career, but you know this situation. I'm kind of feeling more like there are other people involved. Your person may be somebody who's dating online. Is what I'm getting to, and they may be uh, hiding that. Okay, Queen of Wands, the Fool card, and King of Swords. Yeah, so I feel another energy around this person with the Queen of Wands. They could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, you have the Fool card and the King of Swords. So there may have been some so something that was illuminated here. The truth may have come out or you may have found out uh, that this person was talking or seeing somebody else. Uh, but it also can be that this person wasn't taking any real action towards being um, upfront about what their intentions were with you. It's going to be different for all of you. So I feel, you know, this is creating a new beginning. Okay, this is making you think about, you know, moving on from a situation where I feel it, it's just, it's kind of like, you know, in limbo because this person uh, is not providing anything stable. Let's uh, clarify, why is the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords here, please? And, you know, I don't like to give these messages. You know, it doesn't make me feel good. I want to see very happy things for you, Aquarius, but I just tell you what the cards say. So just, you know, take note of that. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, you know, you can check out your other signs. Uh, so clarifying the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords, we have the Palace of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. There you are, Aquarius, in your power. Taking action, healing. Look at that star card as well, your energy. And then you have the moon card. Yeah, I really feel like either this person you're dealing with or you were dealing with is somebody who is secretive. Could be a Pisces, uh, even a Cancer. But I feel this is somebody who was secretive. I feel like there could have been something you found out about this person. And now I feel uh, with this Palace of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Star card, I feel like you're taking action. I feel uh, that you may cut this person out of your life or set your intentions with this person or your boundaries with this person. Some of you may be going through some healing uh, with this as well. But I definitely get here. I feel you're on a new beginning, a new path, uh, manifesting something new, all right? Something new that's going to be more stable in your life. And whether it's, you know, you're just focused on your career, you're building your own uh, foundation, or whether, you know, you're just manifesting somebody uh, who is stable. And I want to say, you know, your your energy here, you know, there's a beautiful peacock here signifying you're very attractive. You're very beautiful here. Okay. You can attract uh, somebody uh, very nice in your life. Okay. Uh, why is the queen of pentacles and the magician here, please? All right. You have the six of wands, the victory card. You have the king of coin. Wow, beautiful energy. We'll get to that. King and queen of coin. I'm getting chills here, Aquarius. And the knight of swords. Yeah, you have somebody coming towards you. Page of swords. So I feel like you could be meeting somebody uh, online. All right. Uh, if, you, if it's not somebody online, it just could be somebody that's younger than you. Somebody who's single. Somebody who is available. You have the um, Six of Wands, the King of Coin, and the Nine of Swords. There's definitely somebody coming towards you pretty quickly here. Uh, I feel like it could be within the next three weeks, right? It could also be as early as three days. But there's someone new coming in, and look at this. 
king of coin and the queen of coin you have a couple here you're definitely manifesting something very stable now this person that you're dealing with this is somebody who also does very well for themselves uh, does well financially somebody you know this person could work a lot uh, with the six of wands too this can be uh, somebody who is in the spotlight somehow all right maybe uh, they inspire a lot of people I'm getting uh, they're very passionate uh, maybe they are some sort of public speaker or some sort of frontline worker or even celebrity status there and nine of swords definitely shows me there's some communication coming towards you so if you're online you could meet you know dating online you could meet this person online all right um you know normally i would pull some cards to see you know this past person what actions they're going to take but i just really see this as somebody yeah look at this somebody who has options here with the knight of wands and uh the seven of cups emperor energy here could be dealing with an aries somebody who likes to be in control somebody who doesn't show a lot of emotion they hold back a lot so it's you know this is somebody who uh it's kind of easy for them not to express how they feel um they hold their emotions in yeah so definitely i get here this is somebody who has options right I don't feel like this situation is going to change. I feel like you've been dealing with this energy Aquarius a lot in the past and it's changing here. You're manifesting something uh, very new and beautiful. So let's clear our, I'm sorry, let's get some guidance here for Aquarius. Thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, look at that first card you have is time to go number 45 which is nine yeah this is this is another message from your guides and your angels telling you that you are being positioned towards your destiny okay there is movement here leaving the past behind leaving a situation that really wasn't serving you let's get another card look at that unfinished symphony yeah this is something i feel that's gone on for too long and it's coming to an end here with uh the 10 you got nine and then you got 10 completion coming to an end let's get another message uh for aquarius what does aquarius need to know exchanging gifts this is a beautiful card um, actually this came out in Gemini's reading as well now this fell with this new person I see coming in and what I always say with this card I get two things I get great compatibility between you and this new person this is somebody where I feel uh, both of you have something to offer each each other something you can exchange you can share you both have gifts that you can share with each other I also get to this is also, you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you have, you may have some sort of gift you can share with the world as well. Um, and through what you've gone through, I feel like some of you may be following your life purpose here as well. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Wow, beautiful, happy, happy, feeling on top of the world here. So I get here, Aquarius, if you can move on and, um, you know, time to go, time to move on time to be happy I, and i see this change here i feel like there is something very beautiful coming in for you for love so i hope you enjoyed this reading aquarius again details below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love